Good morning, everybody. It's super early, I know, but I wanted to do this before my kids woke up, and of course they woke up an hour early. So they're downstairs watching a movie, but we're gonna go ahead and get started. So to curl my hair, I use just your classic little pink foam rollers from Dollar Tree. Um, there's all sorts of fancy rollers out there, um, especially um, as the pinup style trend has become more and more popular over the years. There's all kinds of fancy products, but you know what? These work just great. And so this is what I like to use. Um, we're gonna start by getting our hair in rollers. And then later today, I will go live again and we will take them out and I'll show you how to actually style it once it's done. Um, that part is very important. I didn't know that when I first started doing this and I would, um, I just put my hair in rollers, took it out and thought I was done and it was definitely <laughs> not quite the look I was going for. So, um, you want your hair to be not quite dry, but not quite wet. Um, I like mine mostly dry, usually because I don't get around to doing it the night before, and so I usually only have a few hours, um, so I need it to not be too wet. Um, I actually just realized I forgot my setting lotion. I'll be right back. So this is extremely crucial. I am not one for a lot of products, but setting lotion is definitely essential if you're going to set your hair. Um, so there are a couple different kinds. The classic style is just a liquid like this. Um, sometimes it's concentrated, you mix it with water. Sometimes it's ready to go as is. Just put it in a spray bottle. Um, this is the kind that I prefer. So this is the kind that I'm gonna use today. Um, another reason why I do it with my hair mostly dry already is because obviously this will get it a little bit more damp than it was to begin with. Um, you don't need a ton. You just need to make sure that it gets evenly all throughout your hair. Um, this is another kind of setting lotion. Um, I just got it recently for the first time and I... I don't know, I'm still trying to decide if I like it. I use it about every other time so that I can keep testing it out and see what I like. Um, you pump it out and it comes out like a foam, almost like a mousse. Um, in fact, when I first started doing this, I had no idea where to even look for setting lotion. Um, and so I would just use mousse and it worked okay. Um, but the thing about setting lotion is that it, will hold your style firm without it actually getting hard. It still stays very, very soft, which is important because when you do a vintage set, um, you actually brush it out and you keep shaping it and you keep styling it. And so something like, you know, a gel or a hairspray wouldn't work because once you brush it, you lose um, all of the qualities of it holding. Um, so there are all different kinds of ways to roll your hair, all different patterns, um, where you place the rollers, which direction you go. Um, I'm gonna show you what I've been doing for years, even when my hair was longer. Um, this is what I found works for me. You can kind of play around um, and figure out what works best for you, but this is what I found that I really like. So I start in the middle and Take a section of my hair, brush it forward, um, and then roll it backwards, like so. Um, something that is important, especially if you're gonna be using these kind of rollers, is you don't want to get too much of a crease where this hits your hair um, 
And one tip to do that is like, like I did with that first one, um, rather than brushing your hair up or backwards, you want your hair, you brush it forwards and roll it that way so that the once your hair is all rolled up, the roller sits not exactly where that bunch of hair was or behind it or anything like that. It's a little bit in front. And that way when you put the clip in, it's not pressing on your hair so it won't make a line, a crease. Um, you'll just get the nice curl. And then just keep going all the way back. Oops. So obviously, once there are <laughs> some rollers there, like you just saw, you can't brush it straight forward or you'll um, run into the one in front, but you still want to bring it as far as at as much of an angle as you can. And that will help get you a nicer shape at the end. So with this first row, I go across the top of my head and just keep going all the way down and back, um, all the way down to my neck. So if you have never ever used rollers before, um, notice that when I put them in, in order to roll them up, I um, I don't like take it and wrap my hair around it. Then it would get all tangled up and it would be hard to get it back out again. Um, you take your roller and put it at the tip of your hair, the end of your hair, and then roll, roll, roll it down until it gets to your scalp. We'll just keep going and you'll see I keep rolling in that same direction where I'm rolling downwards. I put the roller on the bottom side of my hair and roll it down. Um, that direction is really important, even though later on when you style it, um, the neat thing about roller a roller set is that when you're styling it, you can then take your round brush and you can brush it and pull it and shape it and twist it in all different directions. Um, when my hair was a little bit longer, I would sometimes I would brush it so that my hair did curl downwards. Um, and other times I would brush it so that it curled upwards with the end, um, the ending hairstyle. But you still want to start out um, with the curls rolling downwards for the effect that I'm going for anyway. So now that you've done all the way across the top and down the back, now we're going to do the sides. Um, so now our rollers are going to go the other direction. They're going to be perpendicular to these top ones, uh, but they're still going to be rolling downwards. We're going to put it underneath the hair and roll it downwards, just like we did before, so that all our hair is flowing the same way, so that when we take it out and start shaping it, 
we don't have hair going in all different directions. Um, that was actually another thing I did when I was very first learning how to do this. Um, I did not look up any kind of tutorials or anything at first. I just thought, oh, curl my hair. I can do that. And so I just got my little foam rollers and I put them all in and I took them all out and I thought, yay, I curled my hair. And it looked ridiculous. <laughs> um, and one of the mistakes I made was I thought, you know, for a more, you know, natural, messy look where it's not perfectly symmetrical, perfect little lined up ringlets, I'll just put the curlers in all different directions so that all my curls are going different directions, which <laughs> is not quite what you want to be doing. Um, it's much better, like I said, to have all of your hair going in the same direction to start out and then you'll be able to brush it and style it and shape it however you want once you take the rollers out. And I'll show you kind of a couple different ways. Um, I only just got my hair cut this short about a month ago and um, you know, I don't actually <laughs> roll and curl and set my hair every single day. Um, so I myself have only done this a handful of times and I'm still kind of experimenting with what I like best now that it's this short. Um, but I decided that since I could not find any good tutorials on doing a roller set with hair this short that I would just make my own so that if there's anybody else out there who wants the vintage look but does not want longer hair, um, I'll show you what I do and we can figure this out together. All right, so now we've got the top all the way down the back and both of the sides here. And now we're just gonna finish up with these last sections of hair um, on the side, kind of in the back. And these are going to just continue that same trend of putting the roller underneath and rolling downwards. Just gonna do another row just like the ones we just did on the sides. So when I was younger, I actually um I when I was in about third grade, I think, so about eight years old, my sister really, really wanted to, um, she wanted to dye my hair. She thought that that would be fun. And um, my mom <laughs> didn't approve of that, but she said that she could perm my hair instead. Um, so my hair actually used to be very, very straight when I was little. Um, and then my sister permed my hair and apparently it really was permanent because my hair has been curly ever since. Um, but, you know, not quite as curly as a perm. Um, but then when it started growing out, so, you know, I had all this super, super curly, almost kinky at the majority of my hair. And then I had the roots growing out super straight. So it looked funny. So um, what we decided was that I should cut off the curly part and just do a cute little pixie. Well, because I was so young, I, you know, <laughs> it was when I was only eight years old, it was apparently not so obvious that I was a girl. And so when my hair was that short, I had so many people think that I was a boy and it drove me nuts. I hated it. And so I, um, decided to never, ever, ever cut my hair again. And I pretty much didn't until I was a senior in high school. My hair was 
so long that I actually, I finally decided it was time again to cut it. Um, and by that point, it was, it was super long. It was frizzy. It was curly. It was massive. Um, I finally decided to cut it all off, have a fresh new start. And I cut off two feet to donate to Locks of Love. Um, and then from that point on, I loved my hair short. So I kept cutting it shorter and shorter and shorter. Um, and it's super, super short hair for a long time. But then when I started wanting to go more vintage, um, you know, in order to do that, I let my hair grow more to about between chin and shoulder length um, so that I could do the rollers, so that I could do a more typical vintage look. But I really love not having a lot of hair. And so I finally decided to go ahead and just cut it all off again anyway. Um, and so I started looking up vintage short haircuts. And there are a few, you know, the super short pixies like Audrey Hepburn had, but um, I still just felt like it wasn't quite recognizable enough as vintage. But then I found the Italian cut, um, which is this kind of um, middle length, pretty short. Oh, I ran out of clips. I'm gonna have to just combine that into two. Um, it's not quite as short as a pixie. There's just enough room to roll it, but the end result is still nice and short the way I like it. And so now I am working on learning how to style the Italian cut. And I'm happy to have you along for the ride with me. All right, so we've got all our rollers in now. And I just take my... I used to have just a stretchy elastic net, but I love this that I found. It's um, it's like a you know headscarf, but it's made of the netting so that I can let my hair breathe and dry while it is setting. So I just wrap it all up so that the curlers don't fall out throughout my day as I'm doing other things. Sometimes I actually, if I want to have nice set hair in the evening, um, but I'm going to be going out and about during the day, I will put all my rollers in and then just wrap my hair in an actual opaque silk scarf. And it looks nice and cute and vintage without anyone realizing that I've got rollers on underneath. And that is it for the first part of our tutorial. Join me again this afternoon, one o'clock mountain time, and I will take all the rollers out and show you how to style it once you're done. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye.